Hi everyone, I'm Tim Peake and welcome on board the International Space Station. Now we're currently traveling at about 18,000 miles per hour in that direction. And today I want to show you a very special computer that the Raspberry Pi Foundation and the UK Space Agency have made for me. Now this is the Astro Pi and it looks very space age, but inside it's just a normal Raspberry Pi with a sensor hardware attached on top or a hat and also a camera module. Now apart from the metal case, you could go out and quite cheaply get all these parts to set up an Astro Pi yourself. We wanted to create the possibility for all of you at home to own and program the exact same computer that we're using up here in space. Now with this suite of sensors, you can do some really cool science up here. You could do some Earth observation using the camera module, or you could detect radiation striking the space station or measure changes to our onboard atmosphere. Or you could just write a game for me to play during my spare time. Now I'm currently in No. 2 of the International Space Station and behind this hatch is space. And this window leads directly to planet Earth 400 kilometers below us. Now this Astro Pi IR has an infrared camera in it and soon it's going to be taking Earth observation photographs of planet Earth through this hatch window. Now having your code flown and run in space is a unique opportunity for young people. So last year, Raspberry Pi Foundation and the UK Space Agency ran a competition in the UK, challenging schools to write programs using the Python language code for me to take into space. The schools used their own Astro Pi, just like this one here, to develop their own experiments. And they then sent their files to us through the competition website. And now the code is running right here on our Astro Pi computers on board. Seven programs will be run by the two Astro Pis on board two of them from primary and elementary schools, and five from secondary and high schools. Each of them is set to run for a whole week, and afterwards, I'll download the data they collected and put the results online for everyone to see. Schools that miss the competition can still get involved in Astro Pi though. We're running an on-orbit activity, where the goal is to piece together what was happening on the International Space Station from flight data recorded by the Astro Pi sensors. For example, the accelerometers can detect when we reboost the space station to maintain our orbital height. Now there are plenty of free learning resources to help you get started with AstroPi. From simply setting one up to basic programming or using it to do real science, you can go to the AstroPi website to find out more. For every one of us who goes into space, there are thousands of people working on the ground. Now that's a lot of people and you could be part of that team one day. People who are doing this work need the skills you build up by studying science, technology, engineering and maths. In particular, most new jobs require some form of coding. It's a really empowering skill to have and you could use it to help to explore space too.